Hello everybody, this is Roll with Winter Bros. In this video product overview, we're going to show you uh, what we cover in our tutorial, Posing Made Simple, that's going to help uh, beginners or inexperienced people with DAS Studio to uh, use and create their own poses. We're going to cover items like the default or zero poses uh, for different varieties of shapes and what they're called, and how to uh, get your, uh, if you do mess around with the pose on a character, how to get back to the default state. Of course, yeah, we know that poses are all about uh, showing some kind of an action or emotion response in a uh, piece of artwork, uh, usually because they're, they're static and not moving, uh, they're not animation, so you want your artwork to actually feel like it's alive and it's there's some realism coming across. We're going to show you how to pose uh, characters and animals and the different types that they have uh, for those. And we're also going to cover vehicle poses, which sounds a little strange, but if you think about like the wheels on a vehicle spinning, or in this case we got this battleship in space, uh, and it has poses for the different uh, laser beams that shoot off of the spaceship. We're going to cover the difference between a full and a partial pose, uh, so you'll understand the differences when you see those in pose presets. We're going to cover paired poses and hierarchical poses. Uh, which is basically poses for like a character with another prop, like a weapon, or they could a hierarchy could also be for two characters together. We're going to get into the really fun stuff and cover transforms to show you how to move, spin, and size uh, characters or props within your scene so you can get what you want. And we're also going to cover some of the 3D manipulators that are in the 3D space, which are a little bit easier than using the slider controls in the con in the panel. We're going to cover bones and how they relate to rigging and how to use the active pose tool. We're going to show you how some uh, characters and props might have built-in pose controls to control things like you see here, like for shoulders shrugging over here, or different things for the whole body without having to move, individually move individual parts. We're going to cover the power pose tool, which we think you're going to really find interesting. Uh, where you can directly manipulate parts of the body, the hands, the head, or the face. And we're going to revisit some of the uh, transformation tools uh, so that for making close-up adjustments to get just that right piece of detail into uh, a pose that you're creating. Here's a quick glimpse into DAS Studio 4.10 Pro. And you can see here we have Genesis, uh, a female there, and a male, and we also have an animal. And we're going to cover, uh, what we cover is basics on how to uh, create your own poses or use the presets that somebody else has created if you want to just use those without doing any manipulation of your own. However, we think that you're going to find after you start creating your artwork, you're going to have to make minor adjustments. You might find a base pose you like, and then you might have to go uh, make an adjustment to it. For instance, uh, you might uh, select the Genesis 2 female, and you might uh, take one of these pose presets that uh, but come with it, or maybe a set that you purchased, and you might uh, apply it to the figure, but you may not exactly like exactly how it looks. You might want to raise the arm up or down a little more. So we're going to show you how to use pose presets, and then also if you want to make adjustments on your own to those presets in this little bit of training. We hope you piqued your interest in this product, and we just want to reiterate that this is for beginners or any experienced uh, users of DAS Studio when it comes to posing and how to use posing within DAS Studio.